Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Final Fantasy V! I am Rufal, playing this game for you. Woo! You know what they left for us to do is to come into here. Hordes of strong enemies traverse the cloister of the dead. Those who are negligent will quickly perish. Are you certain you wish to enter? Yes, because this is, as I said, the only thing we have left to do. So, what exactly is the Cloister of the Dead? Well, it is six rooms, which contain five boss fights each. Yeah, 30 boss fights. All of them are bosses that we've faced before, but they've been scaled up. So, uh, theoretically they'll pose a challenge. That being said, not so much from the initial set. That's better. I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to want this specifically for, uh... Specifically for being able to float. But, uh... Well! Things might not last long enough for me to get me to get that off in time. <laughs> At least not until the battle where I actually need it, so I guess that's when I'll worry about it. Beat it, punk! Nice, Len is equipped with to let her move quickly, but not so much hit hard. Selena would not have been able to one-shot the siren. Or single round the siren, I should say. Up next, it's Forza and Megaza. Everybody might get a turn! Okay, I don't think Boots is gonna get his turn. <laughs> yeah, definitely not. Oh well. Now for the fight that uh, we're uh, just we're just spamming rapid fire might be a bad thing to do. Take that, punk! Oh, that was fun. Hey, the guild turtles act actually gives us money! Still, <laughs> making this one of the few fights that actually will provide Gil experience and job points, most notably Gil. I believe there's three in total. Everything else, if they don't drop anything, then there's nothing to steal from them. But on to the second room, for, for our next, next batch of fights. 
we want to be sure we can perform summons. Let's go! Log a spell blade and rapid fire to make sure it actually lands. Notice it's not doing damage. That's because it's it's Blizzaga. It either does a ton of damage or it just automatically kills if they're weak to the element. There's a surprising number of bosses that are that are not immune to instant death. This is the other fight where we can actually e gain a money and experience. Or some combination thereof. Because the launchers, they're level 50. Let it have it, Ferris. Yay! The third fight. Remember these guys? Yeah, they would still revive each other after dying, but um... That would require them to not all die at the same time. A tee hee. Up next, we have the Minotaur! It'll make you feel silly for having any holy weaponry equipped. Ow. Take that, punk! Yeah, improved stats did not include the magic points to cast holy. <laughs> so to be fair, since Minotaur stopped us from, from being able to cast spells, why should he still get to cast one? Finally, we have the three little pigs. Are dealt with in exactly the same way. <laughs> All right. Now on to the more dangerous fights. Or specifically, easily the most the most dangerous uh, fight to be had is found in this group. Uh, 
Ah, uh, you can keep your rapid fire. Oh, one thing's for sure, we do want to make sure we can have everybody immune to confusion at this point. Otherwise, there's good chance for a horrible hassle. You get the blood sword of the Aegis, and so do you. on the front row anymore. Let's see. Right. Oh, let's go make friends. that dying, it's stupid. The real drawback to these blood swords. Where are punk? No, Bibliss was also, uh, Super vulnerable to to Faraga spell blades. Didn't really get to show it off, but it is a thing. As for you, well, I'm just gonna mix you a potion. Deal with you before you can summon any of your flowers. Yay! Now it all gets dangerous. that again, hopefully with less getting mauled in the face. Seemed uncalled for. Get up, boots. Come <laughs> on. 
curse is boiled again. Get up, no one said you could take a nap. Ow. More ow. This actually could end absolutely horribly. Nope, we got him. Can we avoid instantly dying to this guy? Mission accomplished. Archeo Demon has a way of making everything interesting, doesn't he? Yeesh. magic, but it's, uh, it's not going to be super important yet. Yeah, what? I'm gonna do the 
potion mixing. I want you to still have your blue magic. Drink this and I promise you'll calm down. So calm. Got something. Very good at that. Oh well. I don't suspect it'll be it'll be too much cause for concern. You go away. You and your 6,000 hit points. We found a penny. <laughs> the beatings will continue until morale improves. That's why I wanted the Mighty Barrier. I've got. Hmm. 
Blue magic. That's cheaply what I need to make sure I've got. to get boots back as rapid fires. Okay. Oh, start things off. <laughs> Omniscient here. He only casts magic. But if you hit him with a physical attack, then he'll he'll counter by casting the spell Return. So, uh, let's just shut him up. Also makes his, which also makes his on death flare a lot less of a problem. <laughs> All right, as for this guy, we might have to work for it. We definitely do not want to use use uh, rapid fires. After all, they might miss. Found him! Nope. Hmm. Devious fella. Grand st that grand strategy of, of avoiding us by not moving. <laughs> Number next. Hello, sir. You look awfully thirsty. This. We could use Sleep Spell Blades, but uh, also effective is just beat the crud out of him. Certainly about to croak.
Beat it, punk. Finale, where, uh, if things decide to go wrong, they will go viciously wrong. Well, to that end, if things go wrong, then, uh, very bad things happen. Final five. Ferris, but what did that one ever do to you? Got it. is functionally a uh, freebie. We just want to make sure that the uh, the first attack that we do is this rapid fire. Is this Paraga rapid fire. So otherwise, her vulnerability element will change. Talk. Bye.
Oh dear. Take that, punk! Ah, oh, thank goodness for the ribbon. <laughs> Alrighty, for our final fight, let's square off against Necrophobe. Only this time, Gilgamesh will not be coming to help us. We are on our own. Definitely want this. Yeah, specifically for those flares that he uses to counter attack physical hits. As you can notice, Necrophobe's flares hit hard. Flare off, punk! Turned safely. I assume that means you've defeated the monster hordes, correct? Then I bestow upon you this token, extolling your triumph. Yay? Yay. <laughs> yes, we tore. We 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 fought tooth and nail our way through the cloister of death, and all we have to show for it is this stupid metal. Yeah, just like the Dragon Seal in the Omega Badge. It does nothing. But, with that, we have actually, we have, have accomplished all the, all which we can do in Final Fantasy V. I mean, we could go finish the game again, but, uh, it's not like the credits are going to be significantly different. So instead, I'll simply say... This has been Final Fantasy V. I am Rufal. I have played this game for you. If there's another game you'd like to see me play, please feel free to request it. If you'd like to support me in my gameplay, please do swing by my Patreon, where as little as a, as a dollar a month means an awful lot. I will see you next game. Till then, later.